What's up, everybody? All right, we got a lot of the members in the house. We got Crypto Pollo, uh, Augustine Martinez. Uh, when are you going to become a member, baby? Uh, we got Granny's Garden. How you doing? Uh, Bit Voodoo, what's up? Cade Pulliam, the fam, Alexandra G with all the emojis. I'm loving it. Let's get some music going. We're going to get started here in just a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and get this countdown flowing. Let's get this music rolling. And uh, everybody, let's get involved in the chat. Hope you're all feeling good. Hope you're feeling grateful. Let's go do this together, baby. I'm going to give all those beakers, those badges for members. I'm going to get the, uh, a, a white backdrop so we can see the full beaker. Um, they actually look pretty cool, and they fill up. The longer you're a member, they fill up, and they start changing colors. So shout out to all the members that are in the house right now. By the way, everybody let everybody else know. When people gift memberships, when people gift memberships, and you see somebody gifted memberships in the chat, you see a green box. If you're on your computer, click on that. It takes you to an area where you can enable the membership and you take one of those free memberships. Everybody that's here on a daily basis, as you notice, I'm trying to start a little earlier. I felt too compressed with that only 30 minutes, so I'm trying to give you a little bit more. Maybe adding some uh, afternoon streams here again in a little bit. But I'm trying to give as much as I can possible to the BitLab members in the Discord. So get involved there. We're going to go live again today at noon in the Discord, I mean. Remember, if you're not a member here in the BitLab YouTube page, right there, Alexander G, shout out, gifted five memberships. Click on that green box. Click on it if you're not a member, and it will take you in, uh, to an option to enable your memberships. So take advantage of those free memberships, Alexandra gifted. Shout out. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Just click on that green banner in the live chat. We got 35 people in the room, 14 likes. Everybody hit that like button. We're going to be breaking down some charts today. Yesterday, I was talking about price action coming back. We got the price action went in the opposite direction. It pushed up. What does that mean? How do we prepare? Is it still going to break down? Is it going to push higher? We're going to be breaking it all down today. Doing a lot more TA in today's stream.
Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome. We're supporting blockchain here, baby. That's what this is all about. Blockchain, Bitcoin, crypto, altcoins. Dominating this market, making sure that we can be in position and not out of position most consistently. How do we make money in this market and also pick projects that win and also understand the TA, understand what's happening in the charts so that we can have an edge in this market? That's what this is all about. Shout out to all the members that are here. We did turn on, if you're just coming back, you haven't been here for a while, we did turn on the BitLab memberships here on YouTube with a lot of special emojis, a lot of different badges that progress over time. You get a beaker. You'll see a lot of the people in here that are members already. They get a beaker that's barely full. And as you, the longer you're a member, it fills up and you get different colors and there's different emojis. And the more members that come on, we able to add more emojis. So if you scroll up in the live chat, you will see that uh, also at the very top of the chat where there's two different uh, Sawtooth Hiker gifted uh, five memberships as well. If you click on those banners, oh, we got another gift of five memberships. Kate Pulliam, if you click on that banner, it tells it takes you to an option where you can enable memberships. You have to enable memberships, and you will get a free membership. And then at the end of that month, if you want to, if you want to, you know, add it yourself and continue on, then you're welcome to. You're not required by any means. It's an easy way to participate in the community here and get involved. Now, everybody, my name is Kelly Kellum. Welcome to the BitLab Academy daily stream. If this is your first time, I can guarantee you it's not going to be your last time. We break down what's going on in these charts so that we can stay in the right position. So let's go ahead and move right on in. Whoa, whoa, where is it at? Let's go ahead and jump right on into the charts, which I'm going to be doing here in just a moment. I'm just pulling up all the correct stuff. Uh, how's everybody feeling today, today, by the way? Everybody throw a one in chat if you're feeling bullish. Throw a two in chat if you're a little uncertain. Throw a three in chat if you think we're about to break down. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're feeling. Uh, and we will, uh, we're going to be looking into that. Where, why is my BitLab Academy? There it is. Boom. So let's go ahead and put this over here. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. Boom. Sorry about that. Uh, make sure you give me a follow right here at Kelly Kellum. Make sure. It's K-E-L-L-Y-K-E-L-L-A-M. Make sure it's the correct one. There's only one Kelly Kellum. Make sure you're following BitLab Academy right here at Academy BitLab. Hit that retweet. Hit that like button. We do giveaways, and we randomly kind of pick days, and uh, those that are helping support the channel uh, here on their socials, let people know about us. We give uh, great stuff away, too. Now, shout out to everybody that's here already tuned in. We got, uh, Mah uh, let me go, go through the members first. We've got all kind of our f uh, wonderful members here. Granny's Garden. We got, uh, who else in here? Bit Voodoo, Cade Pulliam, uh, uh, Alexandra G, Crimson Caravan Company. Uh, shout out to Crimson Caravan Company. Always in all of these different streams that we have here at Hit Network. Big love to you. I appreciate you. I see you. Thank you. Also, Alexandra G, uh, there all the time. Red Elephant, how you doing? Uh, Falco, uh, we got several more members. Deucey Does, how you doing? Learning, always here. Lloyd Gonzalez, will you check out API3? Well, we'll see. We'll see if we got some time for that. Uh, Alex Green, how you doing, my friend? Shout out to everybody that's here. John 316, Crow Baby. Hi, Kells, how you doing? Uh, well, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Sawtooth Hiker. Uh, all righty. Well, let's go ahead. And by the way, remember, mem the memberships are turned on. You can just click join under the video, video if you want to take advantage of any of those free memberships. You can see those three gifts up at the top. Uh, uh, the gift, the green badges at the very top of the chat. You can click on any one of those if you're on a PC or a Mac, uh, and it will take you a spot where you can enable uh, and you uh, basically it will turn on your membership. You'll be able to take a free one. So let's go ahead and move on into this. We got a couple things to talk about. Okay, Bitcoin moves are anti-correlated to the dollar. Everybody knows this. If you don't, now you do. There's a strong, uh, basically inverse correlation to the dollar going up and Bitcoin going down and vice versa. Dollar going down and Bitcoin going up. Now, the interesting thing about this is, this is why we're paying so much attention to the Dixie right now when there's so much uncertainty going on in the markets. Because if we look at this chart right here, we had noticed that the U.S. dollar and Bitcoin were moving in the same direction in real time on October 5th. One of them is lying. What is he talking about? Well, we see price moving up with Bitcoin and the dollar moving up. If these things are anti-correlated like we see right here, this is, this is going up, uh, Bitcoin's going down. Uh, yeah, Dollars going up, Bitcoin going down. Bitcoin going up, dollar going down. 
And then this reverses again, back and forth. And we're seeing a bizarre scenario right now. And one of these is not going to be true. Either the dollar is going to correct and start coming down, or Bitcoin is going to have some strength come into it and continue pushing up. Now, we, we've talked a lot lately. And remember, I am almost all, I'm almost fully, I would say 90, 94, 95% of my uh, money is in the crypto market or in dry powder on the sideline for the crypto market. I do have some, I have like a Vanguard index uh, investment and, and, you know, IRA kind of stuff that I don't even think about. I just have auto drawn from my account. But even though I'm primarily in Bitcoin and the, you know, uh, crypto asset ecosystem, I still want to pay attention to what's going on with these traditional markets because it may give us insight into changing narratives about where risk is. Now we can see right here, their consolidation in tech stocks may be over. What is this? This is a giant bull flag, bull pennant right here, and this has broken out. Is this going to, is this signaling that there's some risk coming back in the market? Is, is there something we don't know? Is money printing about to happen? Is what's going on here? This is, we need to pay attention to this because if we are seeing uh, strong movements in the traditional market and we start seeing the dollar moving down, this further fuels a fire for the bulls for Bitcoin to push higher. Now, we can also see right here, NASDAQ has traded green for eight consecutive days, the longest winning streak in two years. Is this coming to an end? Well, we see this is currently at a lower high here. We could pull this up on the charts here in a, in a, in a minute. But we had this lower low here. If this cannot overtake this, this may be in store for a pretty sharp correction to the downside. So is this a trap in the traditional markets catching the bulls before this reverses back down? There's no way to know that currently, but we are seeing a lot of interesting things happen in the market right now. So shout out to everybody that's here in chat. We got 66 people in the room, uh, 28 likes. Everybody hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell, participate in this community. It helps drive crypto further by giving engagement to shows like this one. Now, let me go ahead and move this right there. Now, moving on to this chart right here, Microsoft also finished the day yesterday, its highest closing price in history. So what does that mean, all-time high for Microsoft? This is right in line with what we were talking about right here with these tech stocks breaking out. So what does that mean for the markets? Let's come over here. Let's actually go to trad markets. Oops, that's totals. Click the wrong thing. Let's go to trad markets. This is just a, a template that I had set up. And by the way, and by the way, if you want to really dominate uh, your ability to uh, navigate TradingView and use it in, in the best way possible, make sure you head over to BitLab Academy uh, on YouTube, on, on the homepage, youtube.com forward slash at BitLab Academy. Okay. Or you can just search BitLab Academy in the search bar. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see right here, Daily Alpha. This pro trading view guide right here, this really breaks down how you can organize your templates and be able to go between different things preset with multi-screen or single screen and also the quick keys on how to do your trend lines and diagonal trend lines and horizontal rays and vertical lines and Fibonacci's, all the things so you can really understand what you're doing when you are navigating trading view. Now looking here, US dollar, this is what we were talking about. This US dollar has pushed up and has this sort of broadening wedge a little bit. Uh, now, the question is going to be, is this going to push higher or break down here? I, I spoke yesterday about the possibility of this coming up and testing this range low, which is right here. And this is essentially exactly what's happened so far. It's pushed up, and it's starting to show a little bit of weakness at this level. If this cannot break this range low, then we're not looking, obviously, for this range high. Uh, I sound like John Madden there. Uh, now, uh, what we need to do is we need to move the ball down the field. Well, no shit. Uh, that's how you win a game. So it's same thing here. What we need for dollar, if, we, if the dollar, if we're expecting it to go up, of course, needs to break these previous range lows. As it stands now, this is showing weakness. Why is this weakness? Kelly, how can you tell that there's weakness coming in? Well, look, great measurement right here. Just a very simple measurement. We've got that move right there. And is this move anywhere near the same size as the previous move? No, this is much smaller, ind uh, indicating that the momentum of the bulls is starting to diminish. And we can see right here with this candlestick right here, this is a, a little baby shooting star, uh, meaning it's just very small. The mostly wick to the upside, 
and a small candle body here. That's uh, essentially showing that the momentum, the Bulls tried to take it higher, and the Bears just said, nope. And then this next candle, another attempt, nope, and actually closed lower. This is indicating that there's going to be some attempt at minimum, that this may come down, maybe test this, and then what will happen? What, what does this mean? Remember, we're doing this to understand the edge on Bitcoin. Yes, who cares about the dollar? Well, we care about it, but we're trying to understand the risk narrative. This is an M formation right here. If this, excuse me, if this does break down, you see that, that, that this is essentially what uh, an M formation is, which is known as a potential reversal pattern. So if this were to take place, then we already have this line right here, which is, you know, out all the way from a long time ago, previous price action. But it also gives us a narrative for where the neckline would be here. And if this does come down here and bounce and move higher, great. But if we lose this level and start coming down, then this is sort of confirming that this is going to be a continuation to the downside. Now, if we come back out of this and we look at uh, S and P 500. How you looking, girl? Well, look at this. We're we're attempting. We're doing everything we can. Everything we can. S and P is trying to do everything it can to get a go, get above this previous high, and it's currently struggling here. It's on the four hour, and it has not yet got there. There was a bullish attempt, but it was brought back down. Now. Uh, everybody let me know in chat right now if uh, audio, visual, everything's looking good. We've got 81 people in the room. The question is right now, while you're watching this right now, this content we're putting together for you on a daily basis, encouraging, positive, non-biased content around crypto to help you understand. Have you hit the subscribe button? Does it say subscribed down below this video? If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, by the way, hit that like button too while you are at it. Now, coming back over to the chart. We're looking at this because we want to have an edge about what's going on with the narrative with Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and jump out of all this. I know what you really want to see. I got your goods. You want to see what's going on in the crypto market. So let's go ahead. God dang it. Let's go ahead and go out of this. There we go. Let's go out of this and look save. Let's go ahead and go over to save and then come down to Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is just a template I have set up. This is that zone. This is what we were talking about. So everybody talked about the pump that happened yesterday on Bitcoin. Did it make you feel, be honest, did it make you feel like it was about to run away? If it made you feel like it was about to run away, throw a one in chat right now and shout out to all the members that are here. Thank you all for being members of this channel. Easy way to help uh, support what's going on here. Get these emojis. Um, and, and good morning also, by the way. Um, did you feel like this was going to run away? Well, what happened here? What was the actual technical data that, that this provided? Well, we got a pump. It stopped right at this trend signal line right here. This one that was very strong green, very strong bullish. Look at this. It's starting to get in like kind of off color and, and it's not very strong anymore. This had a little deviation above this line, came back down. This is part of the BitLab uh, intelligence, part of the BitLab trading stack. And we see high volume, and then it reverses back down. It attempts higher again and gets rejected below the trend signal line. This is a uh, essentially dynamic resistance zone. And then we get this sort of information. It breaks down, finds support on this lower bound that we already have drawn out. And right here, rather than we had a small deviation below, this is why you don't just go in all leverage just because we barely broke this line. You see this. It tricked people lower and then reversed to the upside. Now, what did this? What does this mean? Well, if we come over here to CoinGlass, CoinGlass.com, you could see that a lot of people had the wrong idea. Not everybody, but a lot of people had the wrong idea. If we look at the liquidation data here on uh, CoinGlass.com, if we scroll down, uh, go to so where's the data I'm looking for? Liquidation. Uh, no, this is not what I want to look for. They, ch they keep changing all the stuff on here. Exchange liquidation. Used to have a map. Here we go. 24. So, 24, yeah. So, we had $23 million in Bitcoin liquidated in the last 24 hours. Uh, we had $16 million in Ethereum uh, and a lot across, you know, uh, spattered across the rest of the market here uh, and really $106 million wrecked both long and short pretty even there. So this is that chop I was telling you about over the last two, three weeks, especially once we pushed up into here, everybody wanted to just go higher. I said, watch out for this to chop sideways. 
And this is exactly what's happening. It's chopping sideways and not having follow through to the upside. Now, does this mean I don't think that it can go all the way? It can push higher? No. I think we are at, it does not mean that. I think we are at a part in the market where emotions are high, interest is coming back in, engagement is getting, you know, stirred up within this market. So let me say this. When we have these big pushes in the price on Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of the alts that you're holding, don't just ape into something or just jump out. Don't capitulate and don't just throw every, don't throw the farm at a trade just because you start seeing it moving in a particular direction. Wait for the trade setups to present within the strategy that you're using so that you're understanding what your targets are in either direction. And when we see the price push up like it, like it did in the last, very recently, did it break any structures that we are currently in or not? That's the question you wanna ask. Now, coming back right here, did it break any structures that we're currently in? No, in fact, it bounced right here on the lower support, pushed up, and look at this wick up here. Where did this wick go? Holy moly, it went basically within a few dollars. The high here is 35, uh, 450, and the line right above this is uh, basically about $300 higher. So this we came right in context with all this. So nothing has changed yet. I think an astronomically incredible bull run is around the corner. Does that mean I just go 30x long on hopes that it is right now? No, you wait for it to break structure or all the data points that you're utilizing line up in a way that give you an indication that you have a high probability of a trade working. Now, there's something bullish here, though. I'm not trying to take the wind out of your sails. There is something bullish here. Because, yes, this did push up. It got rejected. But the interesting thing about this, you see right where this pulled back to and is finding support? This found support right here on the BitLab Intelligence Right here on this EMA ribbon and 20 moving average, just a little bit brighter, this line that's right in here, found support on this. And it's also well above the weekly VWAP, which is, this is marked out right here, which is right at 35,000. And it's found support on this currently. So currently it's trapped between this uh, uh, 20 moving average and EMA cloud and the trend signal line. If we can break, especially after pushing up like this, Coming back, which is also right about the median line between these two, between these two points. If we measure this across, uh, that's uh, three point four percent. So this is you know just about the fifty percent mark of the uh, of the width of this parallel channel that's rising. Now, if we can find support here and push higher here, then we can look at the opportunity for this breaking out to the upside. As it stands right now, this is looking like it's trying uh, to make up its mind. The bulls are trying to gain their strength to really push higher now if we uh what we really want to watch for is a break of that thirty six thousand dollar level and we want to see volume and we want to see, we want to see all the things needed in order for the price action to push up because if we look at this like this just isolating on the daily i want you to notice something if we look at this uh let's turn off the intelligence this volume has been decreasing yes we got a little bit of a spike here but this volume did not even eclipse this uh, this candle over here. So we're seeing a compression in volume, which is not embarrassing. This is actually a good thing because when you have a compression in volume or a compression in volatility, things happen cyclically in this market. And so when you start getting those very compressed data points, an explosion is around the corner. Now, an explosion in volume does not indicate direction. So know that. The explosion of volume could be to the upside or it could be to the downside. As it stands right now, look at this structure. Currently, it is just working its way up, and it's, it's kind of in an indeterminable, indeterminable sort of zone right now, trying to make a decision about which way to go. Watch for the break of, uh, of this point of control line right here on the BitLab volume, which is right here about 36.6, uh, which is, I mean, interestingly, if we look at this, I want you to notice something. If we turn off all the other indicators, look at where that point of control was when we were zoomed in. This is the previous highs and these are the lows. So this is doing some work in a bullish nature to move to the upside. And here on the eight hour, things are leaning more bullish. So as it stands right now, if we can hold, look at this, right at these previous highs, are we stair stepping up? This could be wonderful. 
point here is don't just ape in because we get a big candle. Ape in because the, the price action comes to the level that you're looking to buy or it's confirming a move. Let me go ahead and go back out to viewer activity. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, and thank you again to Kay Pulliam, Sawtooth Hiker, and Alexandra G for gifting those memberships. I hope some people took advantage of it. If anybody took advantage of, uh, you know, any of those uh, gifted memberships, let me know. Throw it in the chat. I want to see because it doesn't look like anybody's taking advantage of those yet. All you got to do is click on, if you scroll up and chat, click on those green boxes where they gifted and you can enable memberships so that you can, uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and pin. Can I, I can't pin this. Mm, damn it. I can't pin, can't pin them. Well, just scroll back up in the live chat and you can click on that green box and it'll give you, take you to an option to enable memberships. Now, and special shout out to everybody that's here that is, uh, that watches every day and also everybody that's uh, become a member of the channel. I love y'all. I appreciate you. And happy Wednesday to everybody. So this is still an area I'm looking at. Just because we pushed up, just because we had, look at this. This is within the context of this, this range that we've been trading. I'm still looking at some point, whether we break out this and go up to 38, I'm still looking for some sort of attempt down to, and I'm going to leave this here. Maybe we never get it. I'm okay with that. But I have it marked out in case the price action does start falling down to this zone. I'm not scared because I know that this is a level that we're watching. Why is this the level? Because this is right where the previous, <laughs> excuse me, high was. Now, let's go down to, let's go over to Ethereum. Let's look at uh, our girl Ethereum. Sorry. Let's look at a Ethereum BTC chart. Uh, and we're going to go to the four hour, eight hour. Okay. Now look at what happened. This was, these were lines that were drawn from many moons ago. And we have this line right here. It goes all the way back to the peak over here. I can't see because this is in the way. There we go. I still can't see. There we go. All the way back in June of 2016. Resistance. Resistance. A little deviation, but then resistance. Resistance. Bounce. And look at where we bounced. It's as if price action helps give you a roadmap as to where things may find support or resistance price action fell precipitously out of out of i mean out of this this uh range here that uh, descending range and found support right here down i mean you had a little bit of deviation but right in this point zero five one uh satoshis or bitcoin i should say and we got the w formation w formation and push up where we find a little resistance this previous low now we came back and this is either going to push up or this is going to come down and have a continuation of the downside my thoughts are right now that there is a lot of interest coming into the market and there's a lot of people that want to play catch up altcoins provide this this, this narrative of playing catch up so i do think that ethereum uh and the, the alt market broadly is likely going to start performing very well but then get crushed because what moves fast falls fast and then post having we'll have another absolute incredible alt season. So watch for that oscillation and that flow of capital between these different assets. Now coming on to the Ethereum uh, uh, US dollar chart, these are those levels that I was watching. We're looking here on the daily. Let's go ahead and delete this line. Looking here on the daily, we had this range that we were in. We've broken out, and now we're attempting to find support here. Now, what's interesting here about this is we had a bearish attempt not only below this uh, support line, but also this fairly macro previous resistance that we broke out of. Deviation below committed people short only to have the bulls eat this back up. This is indicating to me uh, there's a high likelihood here that we're going to find some support here and potentially push higher. So all in all, I'm looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum. I do think that there's an opportunity for higher prices right now. I still think at some time in the next month or so that we are going to have a washout to the downside. Yesterday's video is all about potential, you know, mini sort of crypto crash. Today's narrative is the bulls may be trying to fight that for a period of time. It does not mean that the price is not going to come back down and fill that inefficient area in the market. So as it stands right now, if I'm looking just at Ethereum, if I'm looking just at this chart, 
This is telling me that this is trying to potentially push higher. So let's get down on the four hour. This is looking, uh, it's a little, looks a little weaker here on the, on the four hour chart. So we had a push up, bit of a, bit, bit of a n noisy uh, area right here where we have a liquidity, uh, liquidity event, meaning uh, the price action is pushing up, committing people long, only to reverse whipsaw it here back to the downside, only to come back to equilibrium. We do have a lower high here, but now we have a higher high. So what this is looking like right here is what's known as a diamond. Oops. And these, there you go. These diamond patterns can be reversals or continuation patterns. So what we're going to want to watch here is on an on as this price action either pushes back up or uh, breaks down, we want to watch for the continuation, uh, continuation to the upside on a breakout or a potential reversal back, back down and, and probably testing in this region right here. We can even put uh, uh, right here option like that and. 1836 if we lose that we're coming back down here to 17 17 was at 1795 sort of region so we gotta we gotta pay attention to what's happening right here because on again this is why you look at different time frames on the daily this is looking quite uh looking like an attempt to confirm this breakout to the upside on the four hour this is looking a lot more noisy so if this does break out i would lean more bullish want to know why because if we look down here on the trend fuel this orange line, this orange line has come down and found a pretty good support. It bounced on the 30, uh, 30 percent and starting to angle up. The RSI is angled up. Uh, on the, the the momentum's come down. We still have positive money flow here. Is this going to about to round out? Well, let's get better clarity. Two hour time frame. Two hour time frame. It's it's looking a little choppy here. And look at this right here. Option V. Option V. So we had a bit of bearish divergence here, which may be why some of this uh, this flush out to the downside occurred. Is that all they had, meaning the bears? Does this give us some freedom to move to the upside? We want to watch for a break of this 1890, uh, basically 1900. We want to watch for a break of the 1900 mark for, a, uh, for that continuation to the upside. Now, if we get down uh, to the one hour time frame, let's see what's going on here. We're watching the momentum. Look at this. So this came down and bounced right here, right where the price action bounced also. And it's trying to push higher. The RSI, RSI is trying to, if we are able to, look at this descending trend line right here. So if I double click on the, the if I double click on this indicator, it'll pull up the, the rail. let's turn off the stochastics. And you see the RSI is kind of, having a little bit of a compression here, meaning it's trading into a range, whichever direction this RSI breaks out of is probably the direction that the price action is going to go. So if this does break out of this range, I think we're going to get a very explosive move for, for Ethereum, likely test up and above the $2,000 range. If this breaks down from here, then we're likely going down, to, uh, testing down back into the, that mid range that we were just consolidating uh, in before which is down here in, in, in this range down in here, but somewhere between 1700 and 1730, sorry, 17, uh, 1800 and 1830. So it's all going to rest on what direction the strength pushes the market. Now, if we look at this momentum, notice this, there's an indication that it's leaning in one direction, large momentum wave to the downside, smaller momentum wave to the downside. So that momentum push for bears to the downside is getting weaker AKA that means the bulls may be gathering their strength. So let's watch for this RSI breakout to the upside. And you can use this on any asset you're trading, whether you're talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, oil, uh, you know, uh, Apple, uh, Cardano, Ethereum, these strategies work for all of these different assets. Now, if we come down, let's look at, uh, Cardano, Cardano, this is a liquidity move to the upside, liquidity move to the downside, H higher high of this range. Now we come down and make a lower low, but then an attempt to the high. Now, now look at this. If we do a Fibonacci here, just like this, look at where the price action rebounded up to. What I did was I did option on Mac. It's option F. If you're on PC, it's alt F. And that automatically gives you a Fibonacci. So you don't have to come over here. If you want to go over to the toolbar, it's one, two, third one down. Click this little arrow. You just select Fib retracement. Select from the top to the bottom, and that shows you 
uh, as this is moving up, it shows you where price action, the different levels it may likely move up to. The 382, the 0.5, the, the 618, and potentially even this platinum pocket up here at the 786. But the golden pocket is the highest, highest hit rate, and price action comes right into this golden pocket and reverses. If we can hold above this zone right here, this is going to be an indication that price is going to continue higher. It's this zone right here. And what is this zone? Why did I draw this zone out? Let's go ahead and, oops, let's make this a bit brighter. Why did I mark this zone out? Because we see we have the 382 right here. That's one. It's a fib level. We have the previous high range right here from back here, which also corresponds with this high range right here on this little bit of a retracement. So this zone, if we can hold above it, we don't even have to go down and tap it. If we find support above this and move higher, then there's higher likely, I mean, indication that the bulls are in control what we're trying to determine right now is are the bulls in control or not is this something that's trying to capture your interest your fomo your fear your greed it's triggering people in both directions we just saw that on the coin glass that there was nearly equal short and longs wrecked people are getting hunted in both directions this is why you need to pay attention to what your strategy is and i would argue if you're buying right now especially with where we're at in the market cycle compared to the having. But if you buy and price goes in the wrong direction and you didn't have a stop loss, et cetera, especially if you're longing, I should say, and you're, uh, th these are opportunities to add to your position. If you're, if you're not sure what to do, adding to your positions. And if price goes below that, then you have another opportunity to lower your average entry. That's what's known as DCA. So 59 likes, everybody get those likes up. Let's get it up. Uh, hit that hit that subscribe button. Join us here in the family. I love you all, by the way. And uh, we got Mini Ninja 4th. Uh, so uh, make sure you guys take advantage of those uh, memberships. Uh, let me actually come over here to uh, stream settings, edit. Join us. I'm putting this right here. Cancel. That's the link where you can join to be a member and take advantage of the emojis. And if you do the BitLab Professor, you also have special access. Uh, there's different access in um, in the Discord, but mo most primarily, I'll be sharing some some stuff periodically from the Premium Discord in the members areas with charts and all kind of stuff. And by the way, in the Discord, we just added this last night. We are uh, come down here to a Discovery Zone. Where is it at? discovery zone uh and you can get, come in here in the open chat we're going to try and be driving the hit network uh discover crypto bitlab this is going to be the community chat right in here we're going to be sharing uh, we didn't add it today because we just added this last night we're going to see a preview of the different news of the day the different things we're looking at different charts and from the stuff we're trading to also the different breakdowns of stuff like this uh we're going to be pulling this from the premium discord uh, so you're not going to get all of it, but you're going to get a little taste. We want to have a community hub. So that's what this is all about. So definitely join us over there in the Discord. Let's go look at a couple more coins. GRT, GRT, look at this. Finding a base where on the previous high. So when price is falling, you're like, oh my God, I don't know where it's going to go. Look left on the chart. Figure out where a previous high was and look for the opportunity there. If there's strength coming in at the zone, in this case, this was looking a little iffy right here. Let's uh, turn the stochastics back on. This was this came down right here. The, the stochastics came down, but the momentum was still coming down right here, which is okay uh, because we see money flow coming out as the stochastics come down. And so this is telling me that this is likely going to be a bounce, but it's not going to be a follow through continuation to the downside. Uh, sorry, this is likely going to be a bounce, but it's not going to be a, a reversal is what I meant to say. So we have the stochastics low suggesting that it's oversold. It likely will move up. Money flow is coming out, so this is suggesting that if this does move up, it likely will not continue. So where did this go? Pushed up right to this previous low range and then rejected back down. Now, in this case, we're seeing this momentum wave to the downside, momentum wave another time to the downside. Stochastics came down. This is pushing up. It's starting to roll over, so this is telling me that it will. there's a likelihood here. Uh, this, the probabilities are kind of leaning towards a favor of price action. Look at this call. Look at this. Right here. Yeah, the stochastics bouncing, 
moving up right here and then we get the bullish uh, the bullish signal right here and right after that we get two bullish divergences man things are just if you're not using data in your charts when you are trying to identify when to buy and sell and what to do in these markets you're doing yourself a disservice so if you are interested in any of these head over to bitlab academy you can click up here where mine says my account you should say enroll now or you can click right here get involved join us and also when you become a member of bitlab academy in bitlabacademy.com you get access to our premium discord with all the different charts and different thoughts in the live membership i'm doing private member streams on a daily basis uh near daily basis uh in there breaking things down and if you want the indicators come right here to indicators uh, and it will show you, uh, you can get the BitLab trading stack right here. Uh, you can still use give me 30 for 30% off. Now looking here on uh, the graph, the BitLab trading stack, we got the intelligence, we got the volume. Look at this, pushed up into, created an order block uh, and it's pushing down, lost this trend signal line. It's just been just bouncing below this dynamic resistance zone all the way here. If I had to guess, there may be a small move here, but I had to guess this would either consolidate here or come down and, and, and test into this region down here in the, uh, the mid 11s, 11.8 to 11.5 sort of zone. That's what I'm seeing for GRT, which makes me happy because I need to get back into a position here. Um, now, let's look at, uh, does Algo still performing? I haven't looked at this. We're going to be doing a bunch more TA today, uh, chart request on request live for you BitLab members in the Discord. Uh, I did drop a link to that uh, to show you're interested in the Discovery Zone. If you go to open chat, you will see, scroll up just a little bit, it's right here. Also, if you scroll to the top where it says eat one event, if you click on that, boom, click uh, interested and you can join. We'll also be sharing the link uh, for members to uh, watch after the, the recording of that. Algo pushing up. Looking somewhat similar to uh, to uh, to GRT, it's just a little bit more volatile here. Pushed up, sold off, created a head and shoulders in the process. Shoulder, head, shoulder, and this move. I mean, this was a beautiful move down to the neckline. And let's look at this. Came down a little deviation below that target, but it gave you an indication it was coming down. Pushed up. Look at this deviation above, but look at this this high and this high. What you want to do when you see this sort of move, is it going to continue higher? You see a high, then you see another high. Well, now drag your cursor down and look at the indicators down here. You see the stochastics high and the stochastics lower. So the strength underlying this move is getting weaker as price is pushing higher, meaning there's likely not fuel to continue to the upside. Now, on this case also, we have a trend line that could be created right here. If we turn off the intelligence, we have a bit of a trend line right here that, look at this, bounce, 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 lost. So I'm looking at this uh, coming down, likely testing somewhere in this 1230 range. Uh, it may bounce at the 1237, but because of this previous high. But what makes more sense is to come down because we have this high, we have this high, and we have this low all within the same context of where that order block is, which automatically prints with the BitLab volume. It gives you a zone that you should be watching. Uh, and this is essentially, look at that, perfectly with this high, this high, this low, this bounce on the zone. So this is the area I'm looking for algo to come back to. Now, XRP, how you doing, girl? So this is starting to be a little bit of a rising wedge. Not looking ultimately super bullish. Um, but XRP has so much news around it right now. I would be hesitant just to take a short and write it down, uh, potentially have a stop loss in case this does go down and then you can get another position down here. But this is one of those ones I'll be stacking on any pullbacks. Let's go back out to the four hour. Yeah, this is, so on the four hour, this is indicating, even though this is a little bit of a rising wedge, Stochastics have come down and reset. Last time they are here, it's right here, and look what happened, boom. So this is not mean that this is going to happen and just boom higher, but this is saying the stochastics have, have reset. The momentum wave is starting to round out. We still have positive money flow, and there's a lot of bullishness here. So I do think we're going to get another attempt higher. The question is going to be, on the attempt higher, is it going to be a candle like this that gets rejected within the zone, meaning that the price action, where's my brush, price action comes up right here and rejects back down, or is it going to come up find support here and continue higher. 
We need to we need a little bit more data for this one, but you can be prepared for both directions. But with that, everybody, I love you all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all stay smart. Uh, I want to see uh, BitLab members. I want to see everybody in the room. Roll call right now. Throw some lab coats up. Throw up the emojis if you're a BitLab member. Uh, if you are not, uh, if you did not take advantage of any of those gifts uh, that people shared, make sure you do. Uh, I want to see if I can share this. I, I wish I could share that further. But uh, I love you all. I appreciate you. Join us uh, in the Discord later. Uh, the link's down below in the description. It's uh, I think it's discord.gg forward slash bitlab. I could be wrong. But big love to each and every one of you. Hit that like button on the way out. Check to see if you are subscribed. Un click subscribe, unsubscribe, and then resubscribe back in just to make sure you're subscribed. And I love you all very much. And uh, I'm going to be over heading over to uh, Discover Crypto to drop some charts there. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Adios, muchachos. Adios, muchachos. Thank you for coming. Thank you for always tuning in. BitLabAcademy.com. Hit that like button, sucker. Join us at BitLab Academy. Learn everything you need to know about crypto, trading, and blockchain. Adios, muchachos.